Good night, good night, good night, everyone. And welcome to Real Keys with Kathy Lloyd. And I am so happy to have you here on our YouTube debut. We finally made it. I am Kathy Lloyd, your realtor and financial coach. So tonight we're going to talk about failure. And it's the beginning of the year. And I chose to talk about failure because failure can be one of those things that hinders us from reaching the goals that we have for the year. So if you haven't gotten the chance, go ahead to Kathy Lloyd, IamKathyLloyd.com forward slash blog and read this week's blog. It's called Three Important Lessons I Learned from Failure. And so tonight we're going to touch on those lessons. And of course, I said this was an interactive session. So I am looking forward to hearing from you and uh, seeing what you guys have to say about failure. So the first question that I have for you for tonight is, have you ever experienced failure inside your real estate journey, your personal finances, or any success journey? So if you have, let me know if it has been in real estate, if it has been in your personal finance journey, or any other journey to success that you've undertaken. Good night, Dave. Thanks for being here. And so we're going to jump right in. In the blog, I told you about a journey to failure that I had in 2020. And it was basically geared towards a fitness program. And it was both physical and mental fitness. And so there were a lot of tasks that I had to undertake when it came to this program. It required drinking a gallon of water a day, reading 10 pages of a physical book, and also logging and taking a picture of your progress each day. And this program was supposed to be for 75 days. And so, like I mentioned in the blog, I failed at this program a total of four times so far. And I say so far because I am going to attempt it again. <laughs> and throughout those four times of failing, the last time I made it to 41 out of the 75 days. And so I really learned some very important lessons in this challenge. And I wanna put a disclaimer out there. Uh, we tend to be afraid of failure and sometimes we need to learn to embrace it because there are many lessons that we can learn from failure. And also you don't fail at everything. You may be so good in a certain area that when you start it for the first time, you may actually succeed. So uh, the fail failure can definitely hold you back from progressing in your life. And so our first uh, real key is to commit daily by being intentional and making preparation. And so I talked about how I committed to the challenge every time I started it, but it has to be a daily commitment and you have to be intentional with your actions and you have to make preparations to make sure that you are actually doing what you need to do to succeed. And let's take this into your personal finance journey. Maybe you've decided that this week was supposed to be a no spend week. And if you follow me, you know that during a no spend week, you don't buy lunch at work. You don't buy breakfast at work. You don't spend money on snacks. You don't go out shopping because you have already done your grocery shopping from the week before. And so in order to do that, you have to be really intentional and it will call for some meal planning and meal prepping but to take you throughout the week it will call for you having your lunch bag or the forks and the spoon lined out making sure that you're prepared for the next day so that you're not tempted to go ahead and spend money that week so maybe that is something that you want to take a look at being intentional in the steps that you're taking towards your financial and your real estate goal and also making preparations so you say that you want to save money, but you're not cutting back or preparing yourself mentally and also taking money from where you can easily access it. So you're not fully uh, committing to that goal. And then when I say commit every day, so you created a goal January 1st, February 24th, you don't know what happened, uh, you're falling off. Every day you wake up, you have to commit the, to that goal. And later on, you will see 
uh, how not committing every day will cause you to lose focus on that goal. So our second key was to prioritize high so that you can remain focused. And prioritizing is very important because it helps you to focus, like I said, on your goals. It helps you to keep it top of mind. And I learned from that challenge that if something is not as important as other stuff, it will drop on your list of priorities. So let me know if you um, also, other than the keys that I'm giving today, which will involve commitment, prioritizing, and having integrity, what other lessons have you learned from failure in your past? So back to prioritizing. Now, two things can happen uh, to your goals on your priority list. Now, it can be that it drops because of necessity. And when I say necessity, maybe you've decided to save $25,000, $30,000 this year towards your real estate goal, maybe even $5,000 or $10,000. But there is a medical emergency, and you have to take a huge chunk of that money and put it towards that emergency. There are safeguards in your financial journey that you can create so that you may not feel the brunt of that pressure when that happens or feel disappointed when that happens, but that will cause the savings for your real estate journey to drop on the priority list because that, that medical emergency became of more importance than that saving goal at the time. And then another thing that causes uh, a lack of priority is our simply not checking because we don't wake up every day with that daily commitment. And so it drops down to the bottom of the list. Okay, I decided that I wanted to exercise every day this year or at least twice per week. And I don't get up on those days when I'm supposed to exercise. First of all, I don't even log those days in my calendar or set an alarm for those days. So that, that uh, goal automatically just, um, starts to drop on your list of priorities. And so you have to prioritize your goals in order to keep focus and keep going at them. And our third key is to help go along your journeys with integrity so that you are able to successfully uh, get your achievements and then you are able to celebrate them knowing that you put in the work and you've actually done what you're supposed to to be able to celebrate that win. So inside the blog, I, hello, Verno, thanks for coming, thanks for watching. Uh, you can let us know, we're talking about failure. And so let us know if you've ever had failure in your real estate journey or in your personal finances or any success journey that you might have undertaken and you've failed at it. And so we are on our third real key. And our third real key is to have integrity in the journeys that you take on so that you're able to celebrate your wins because you truly put in the work. And so on that uh, challenge, like I said, I failed four times. And the only real hint of failure was the app that I downloaded because every day you have to go into that app. The app actually sends you a reminder to complete your task. And at the end of the day, it asks you, or if you missed the day, it asks you, did you really complete those days that you didn't log the work? And so I had many times, many opportunities to go into that app and just say, yes, I did it, even though I didn't. And I could have done that for 75 days straight. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't have had the increased knowledge from reading the books. I wouldn't have been more hydrated from drinking the water. I wouldn't have been able to continue my fitness journey at a good pace because I wasn't putting in the work every day. And so you have to do that in your journey. Be, and the most important thing is your goals are your own. Don't take on goals from other people if you're not passionate about them, if you're not actually going to work towards them. So if they're your own, you have that integrity for yourself and you hold yourself accountable. So at the end of the day, you know, if you weren't successful and you didn't put in that work, you know that you can acknowledge the fact that you didn't put in the work that was necessary to get that achievement. And if you did put in the work and you still failed, 
then you can give yourself some grace, some peace, knowing that you put in the work and maybe there's something that you want to do different or something that you can start over or maybe that just wasn't the thing that you needed to do and you need to, to revamp your goal and maybe uh, take it to a smaller goal and work it step by step. So once again, thank you all for coming in and joining us on this episode of Real Keys with Kathy Lloyd. So we're going through our real keys for failures and the lessons that we've learned. And at the beginning, I asked to share whether you've had uh, failures recently, share whether, you, whether you, you've had failures in real estate, uh, failures in your personal finances, or any other success journey that you may have uh, started whether you have failed on it. And then also during this week, I've talked about a concept. Failure can either make you pop down or boss up. And so when I talk about pop down, I mean, you get defeated, you get distressed, you get depressed because you're unwilling to accept that failure and take the lessons that comes with it. And then bossing up from failure means that you have acknowledge that something happened. Whatever it was that caused you to fail, you acknowledge that it happened. You take the lessons from that. And then you either strengthen the skills that you need to achieve that goal, or you go back to the beginning and you see what you've done wrong and you fix whatever it was. And sometimes people allow failure. Like I said, before they start a journey, they allow the thought of failure to uh, deter them from going to going on and achieving and taking action to actually complete their task and achieve their goals. And so first you have to acknowledge what your response to failure is, because you cannot address it if you don't acknowledge it. And then when you've done that and you, you decide to go along your journey, like I said, our real keys, commit every day by being intentional and making preparation. Don't believe that you are going to achieve it if you don't actually commit to it and put in the actual preparation needed to go day by day and complete the tasks that are necessary to achieve your goals. Secondly, prioritize. Prioritize your goal. Write it down. Every task for the day that you need to complete that goal, you log it. Make sure you log it so that you are able to go and tackle those things that you need to do. And like I said, sometimes it's out of necessity that the priority level of that goal might drop. So in the example that I gave earlier, you may have a savings goal and you have a medical emergency. Automatically that savings goal drops on your list of priorities because you have the funds that you currently have now have to go to that medical emergency. Secondly, as pure, uh, dropping because of our lack of commitment, like I said before. So you don't prepare and you and you are not intentional about your actions. And so therefore that goal keeps dropping down your list of priorities because most of us have busy lives, busy and sometimes very productive lives. And so if you don't pay careful attention and focus on your goals, that goal would definitely drop on your list of priorities. And then the third one is be is have integrity on your journeys so that you are able to celebrate your achievements, knowing that you put in the work to get where you are. And so, like I said, your goal is your goal. Don't take on goals because somebody else wants you to take them on and you're not interested. You're not going to go out there and actually do the work to achieve them. And because the goal is your goal, be in have integrity with the way you go about achieving that goal. Have integrity in your actions, have integrity in your communications, have integrity in everything that you go and do when it comes to that goal. And so those are your real keys. And then again, like I said, failure can make you pop down or boss up. So decide which one is it going to be? Are you going to be the person that wallows in their failure? Are you going to be the person that allows failure to make you depressed, make you distressed? Or are you going to be that person that acknowledges what happens and then you're going to take the lessons that you've learned and apply it to your next step? 
So let me know. Hi, Keisha. How are you? And thanks again, everybody, for tuning in to our first official Real Keys with Kathy Lloyd here on YouTube. It's been a journey to get here, and I've been promising to bring all of the video content over to this platform to make it easier. And so, as I mentioned, uh, throughout the week, we've been uploading some previous episodes and premiering them here on YouTube. So feel free to go through those previous episodes, and we'll keep uploading them throughout the week. Uh, as far as the blog for this week is concerned, you can go to I am Kathy Lloyd forward slash blog, and you will see all of the blogs there. And this week's blog is called Three Important Lessons That I Learned From Failure. And you can go back and get the real keys and more background about the failure that I experienced, the journey to failure that I experienced last year, and the lessons that I've learned, and those lessons, commitment prioritizing and having integrity, you can carry them throughout every journey that you take on this year, every goal that you set, and they will help you. So once again, thank you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you have questions, feel free to go in the comments and let me know if you have any questions about uh, setting your goals for 2021, or if you have any questions about overcoming failure uh, and failure is the well, the fear of failure is one of those things that, like I said, you can embrace because we all fail at things throughout our lives. We've been failing at things from we were toddlers, babies, we've been failing at things because in order to be successful at walking, we failed first. In order to be successful at talking, most of us, <laughs> we failed first. So, like I said, embrace failure and continue to go on your journey. And I wanted to get this topic of failure out in the forefront before you go and start tackling those goals for 2021 so that it'll give you more strength to go and accomplish your goals. So now when you fail in the back of your mind, you're gonna say, is this a pop down moment or a boss up moment? And make sure it's a boss up moment because you're a boss and you're going to, you're going to continue to grow and whatever your passion is, and continue to be the best you that you can be. And on that note, I want to say good night and thank you once again for coming over to the YouTube series of Real Keys with Kathy Lloyd and continue to have a wonderful week. And of course, boss up.